Raritan's Power IQ provides very powerful energy management analytics. In this video, I'm going to review some reports that I created to demonstrate the capabilities of Power IQ and show you how to create your own reports and your own charts. So I'll start with my carbon footprint report. My carbon footprint report provides a trend line over time as well as my cumulative total over the graphed period. What I'm graphing here is kilogram generated by the electric utility for the IT energy that my data center has consumed. Another chart is my department energy cost billback report. And in this particular case, I'm graphing IT energy cost in dollars. You can enter your own local currency that includes pound, yen, or euro as well as a number of other currencies. In this particular case I'm showing the trend line in terms of energy cost for my credit card division, for my private bank division, and for my investment bank division. The window below gives the cumulative total cost in dollars over the period graphed which in this particular case is past 24 hours. I have the ability to export this data by merely clicking the export widget and this will export this data into a CSV file which can easily be manipulated in Excel. I have a summary active power chart which provides my active power in kilowatts. Over in this particular case I've selected a custom date period of January 1st through January 29th. I have the trend line for all the IT devices in my data center. This next chart, which I can drag and drop over for a side-by-side -side comparison, provides my active power over the selected period for all my racks within my data center and allows me to easily spot the racks that are using the most power, in this case, rack 3 at 3 kilowatts. I have another chart that shows an individual chart for each rack. So this is my chart for active power for rack 2, this is my chart for rack 1, and you can see I can enter as many charts in a given report as I want. And finally for my canned reports, a big differentiation that Raritan provides is the ability to graph IT energy by individual device level or groups of IT devices. In this particular chart, I'm graphing IT energy for the past 24 hours in kilowatt hours, and I have my individual trend line for a server named Apple, another server named Blueberry, and a third server named my VMware server. Again, the window here provides the cumulative total over the graphed period in kilowatt hours. Creating a new report is very easy. I click Add. Let's say this is my favorite report, so I just give it a name. And then I simply add a chart by clicking the Add Chart button. And I go to the Settings widget to both create the chart as well as later modify the chart if I'm unhappy with the settings. So I'll show you a few charts. Total Energy. So I'm going to create a chart that will show you the total energy. I can select a number of preset periods from past hour to last month. I'd like to just explain the difference between past and last, and I'll use month as an example. Past month, for example, will chart the previous 30 days. Last month will chart the previous calendar month. For example, it's February, so if I selected last month, it would chart the completed month of January, which is very useful for bill back reports. But since this is a total energy report, I'm going to select past 24 hours. This is where I select my measurements. I can select active power in watts, IT energy in kilowatt hour, carbon footprint in kilograms, IT energy cost in my local currency, total energy including cooling in kilowatt hour, total energy including cooling in my local currency. So this is an energy report, so I'll select kilowatt hour. Now I select my containment of devices. I'm going to select all because that's what I want to graph, and I can simply create a chart 
that graphs my total energy in kilowatt hour for all the equipment, all my IT devices in my data center. If I want to create a new chart, again I go to the settings. Let's make this a department bill. I have the ability to not only select periods but also select ranges. So I can select a start date of February 1st through any other date, but I'll select February 7th. My measurement, since it's a bill back, I'll select IT energy cost. And again, I'm going to select all because I'm going to set this by customer. So I don't want to limit it to a specific data center or a rack. So I select all. And now I'll use my filter fields. And in this particular case, I want to enter specific customers. So private bank for line one, credit card for line two. And I can go on with additional lines, but I'll just say graph. And this now is how I create a department billback report in energy cost for my selected period of time for my selected departments. I'm going to create another chart. In this example, I'm going to show you power by rack. And let's say I want to do my power by rack for the past hour. Past hour and last hour, by default, will only allow you to graph active power in watts. So this is not highlighted. So that's, that's selected as is. But this time, I'm going to show you the power of the containment field. I'm going to say I'm going to graph racks, which now makes it easy for me to use my containment field and easily select my racks. So line 1, I'll make rack 1. Line 2, I'll make rack 2. Line 3, I'll make rack 3, and on I can enter an additional rack for each line, but I'll just cut it off there and click OK. And this shows you how you can graph multiple racks on one chart. So that provides an overview of the Power IQ Energy Management Analytics. You can download a free version of Power IQ that can be loaded on your ESX server or the free VMware player or free ESXi to try it out for yourself. To download your free trial of PowerIQ, this trial will be limited to five devices. So five devices, that would be five rack PDUs, whether it's a Raritan rack PDU or an APC rack PDU or server tech rack PDU. PowerIQ is multi-vendor. Visit www.raritan.com forward slash products, forward slash power hyphen management, forward slash power hyphen IQ. Thank you.